In this video, I'll show you a platform that allows you to manage an unlimited number of subscribers for free. Yes, for free. So most email marketing software keep the free tier to a limit of maybe 500 to 1000 subscribers. But this platform doesn't. And that is Gumroad. So in this video, I'll show you step by step how to set up automated emails to send to your subscribers using Gumroad. Since we are talking about email marketing, I do have an email list. So if you are interested, do subscribe, link in description below. So first, let me show you how to create a series of emails for your subscribers using Gumroad. So how so people can subscribe to your newsletter. Okay, and Gumroad does provide the feature. So in your Gumroad shop, right, basically you see at the top of it, there's a, a place where people who are interested in you can subscribe to you. Okay. There is also a page dedicated to just subscribing um, or email marketing. If you are not using custom domain, it's basically your username gumroad.com slash subscribe. All right. So once they have subscribed, right, okay, under your audience tab, okay, subscribers, they will be listed here. Okay, so Gumroad allows you to have to be able to export your subscribers email, okay, which you, you can upload into other email marketing software where like ConvertKit and so on. But if you don't want, you can um, send out your series of emails, okay, using Gumroad as well. Okay, so as you see, I do not have any subscribers yet, so it is empty. But if you have subscribers, their email uh, will be listed here. So if you're interested in subscribing to my newsletter, do sign up, link in description below. Now coming back to how to set up a sequence of emails using Gumroad, go to post, okay, then under workflows, okay, create new workflow. So for example, you can name this workflow subscriber workflow, okay, and this is for the followers only, okay. So once you have done that, right, you can add. Okay, so you can start adding emails. Okay, and you can determine when you want to send them out. So for example, you can uh, send them out uh, in a few hours after they follow, days after, weeks after, or months after, and so on. So maybe for this example, I want an email to be sent out immediately after they have followed me via the follow form. So I can, maybe the first email will be welcome and welcome here and so on okay so next maybe i want to add more emails so maybe one day after they have followed me i want to send another email to talk about my story okay and so on okay then maybe a day two so i want to write another email to them another day the second day after so um Here's how to get started on whatever. Okay, then I'll write something else and so on. Okay, you can continue populating this um, sequence of email. Okay, and it becomes automatic. So once someone subscribes, okay, they will um, they will be sent a series of emails of this sequence that you have created. Next, let me show you another method. So for example, I want uh, people who have downloaded my Instagram checklist to go through an uh, Instagram workflow. Um, and ultimately, I want to promote this ebook here. So what I'll do now is I will set up another workflow called the Instagram workflow. Okay, and it is only for customers who have bought the Instagram checklist okay and basically paid more than zero dollars that means everyone okay then I'll add then maybe immediately I'll say welcome okay maybe just talk about the Instagram checklist okay then next maybe I want to set up an email one day after Okay, maybe just talk about the Instagram checklist. Okay, then next, maybe I want to set up an email.
meu one day after. Okay, and I type something here, whatever it is. Okay. Okay, and I type something here, whatever it is. Okay. Then maybe I add another email a day after. How Instagram has changed Jane's life. Okay. Then maybe I talk about Jane starting Instagram. Okay, and posted consistently on her business. She now generates Then I asked them, are you interested? Okay. Okay. Okay, then I'll need my Instagram book, right? So let me go to my book here. Let me edit it and I want its link. Okay, then going back to workflow, I'll enter it. Okay. Okay, something like this. Save it. So on the second day, I will link to my Instagram book and so on. You can continue adding email. Okay, so uh, according to your needs, your marketing needs. So this is another way of setting up a workflow after someone has downloaded or bought something from you. Now you may notice that all the emails have the status of inactive. This is because I have not activated them because this is only a test. I don't intend to send them. But if you want to send them, make sure that after you have written each email, put the published. All right. Okay. So once you click on the published and you go back to your workflows here, you'll notice that now it becomes active. Okay. So maybe I can just change all to active so that you can take a look at how it looks like. So only when it becomes active, so only when the status is active, then these um, sequences will be triggered. Okay, if you have an inactive um, sequence, then it will not um, be triggered. You need to publish it in order for it to go through the sequence. Okay, similarly, if you do not want to delete that email, okay, but you just do not want to send it out, you can just click on unpublished. Okay, so now if you take a look at my workflow for my Instagram workflow, all the status are active. So wherever someone sign up for the Instagram checklist, they will go through this sequence of emails after zero hours, one day and two days and so on. Okay, my subscriber workflow has not been activated yet, so I can activate it. Okay, you can activate it when you are typing the email, just press the published. Okay, alternatively, um, you can... Uh, do that after you have written your entire workflow and check through and determine, hey, this is really what I want. All right. Okay, so now I've set all of them to active. Okay, I'm going to set this to active as well. So there you go. All these um, two workflows that we have created are now active. Do note, this is only a test uh, sequence of emails, so I will not be sending out these emails. So shortly after I finish this video, these will be deleted. So if you are to subscribe to my email list, you will not be getting these emails, all right? So the great thing about using Gumroad for email marketing is you can integrate your digital products, okay, to your email marketing efforts all in one platform and Gumroad doesn't limit the number of subscribers that you have okay, in order to use this workflow for free. So one of the limitations of Gumroad is you'll notice that you can only have a linear um, sequence. So for example, you have subscribers. Okay, then uh, you have a subscriber series. email sequence okay so the subscribers will have a subscriber email sequence then if you have a instagram 
checklist. Okay, so people who download the Instagram checklist, they will have the Instagram sequence. Okay, and you notice that there is no way that right, you can have um, other ways of linking it to others workflow so for example for the Instagram sequence right so maybe after two days the person doesn't buy or doesn't click on the email you cannot like set off a new workflow it doesn't work this way so you can only have one workflow by itself and it is not integrated with other workflows so that is the limitation of the workflow or the marketing tool provided by Gumroad. But if you simply need something that is simple, a simple email marketing tool to send out automated emails to your subscriber, then I feel that this is more than sufficient. What are your thoughts about using Gumroad as an email marketing tool? Let me know in the comments below.